is Pakistan's relations with India. As I mentioned in the beginning that Pakistan and India, we were together under the British rule and Pakistan became independent on 14th August, India became Kashmir region. And Kashmir region was a uh, area where uh, the Muslims were in majority and uh, that area should have come to Pakistan and I will uh, cover it in subsequent uh, slides <coughs> in the map. And this is now divided into three parts. In terms of the area, it's almost uh, two. This is Azad Kashmir, and this is the northern area, which is known as Gilgit Baltistan region. So all this put together, and this uh, one, one part upside Chin area, which is now with China, this becomes the whole. India went to the UN Security Council. India went to the UN Security Council and asked him to resolve this problem. And uh, the UN Security Council passed a resolution which said that, okay, we will decide the fate of the region by a voting, which is equivalently 11 resolutions came asking the same thing, but it never happened. So since 1948, people in the area are waiting for the two countries to hold a plebiscite, it's an election. So last 30 years, it has been employing all kinds of repressive mechanisms to express the will of the people. And how? I'll just uh, show you some an ethical problem between Indians and Pakistans. And, uh, I was greatly impressed by this city, by this country. And again, New York Salsi, thank you very much for being here. I think it was a really interesting event. And uh, we have maybe 15, 10, 15 minutes for questions. So, come on. Please, we'll be the first. We have uh, Afghanistan. Afghanistan, you know, has been turmoiled uh, in, for the last almost four months. Uh, you know, Indian groups like uh, International Urdu Day at MSLU is happening on 9th of November. And uh, Urdu is uh, one of the bigger languages uh, you know, spoken. These things, I think uh, you already have one of the best environments for education and learning. So we wish you all the best.